Welcome to tutorial 1 for my 2D character engine. I'm going to go with you guys through this tutorial uh, to give you a little preview of what I've been working on and what is coming. Now this is tutorial 1. There will be another tutorial with a different character and more advanced mechanics. Um, but this is what I have for now, so let's get started. Uh, move, keyboard left arrow, arrow, right arrow, or the D-pad left and right. Jump, space bar, or gamepad face button, bottom. Okay, so before getting started, let's make sure that you're up to date with the character movement component. Uh, if you look at the bottom, shoot keyboard C, gamepad, face button left, tip shoot previous or next. So let's go ahead and shoot. Type character movement in the details search bar while your character is selected in the editor to find all kinds of useful settings. Let's see what we can do. Touch slow, normal, and fast to change a max walk speed. Okay, so if you touch slow, you go slow, normal, and fast. Now bear in mind that fast, or I mean, uh, the max walk, walk speed also affect how fast um, the player travels while jumping. Uh, so now for the gravity scale. Touch light, normal, and heavy to change a character's gravity. Hey, we're super light. Back to normal and heavy. I like this, heavy. I don't know why. Um, try walking on the platforms. Braking, deceleration walking, ground friction, and max acceleration were used to achieve these results. So here we break uh, the braking, or I mean the max acceleration is greatly reduced to make it seem like a kind of a rough terrain. And once you pick up your speed, it's not as bad, but it it's a little bit hard to get going. On the other side, we have a kind of a slippery thing. We use the uh, ground friction and deceleration, uh, the brake. So, and then as soon as you step off of either, then it goes back to normal. Uh, the max jump hold time. This one, okay, last one before we continue. Jump max hold time. You can find this one under character. Control jump now active. Okay, so control jump has been activated, so if I release the jump button, he'll stop jumping, and if I hold it, it's gonna jump for as long as the uh, jump, uh, the jump max hold time is set. At this time, it is set to 0.15. So if it changes to 0.35, then he's gonna jump higher. Um, 0 0.005 is super low. <laughs> now we can't even reach. Uh, so let's go back to normal. There are many more values that come with the default character class, so don't be afraid to try them out. Touch continue to proceed. Alright, let's get going. Let's activate some basic jump features in our character's jump options. Control jump, control fall, and vault. Now these mechanics are all part of the 2D character engine system that I've built. So from here on on, it's all going to be these uh, custom mechanics that I created. Control jump allows the player to stop jumping when the jump button is released. We mentioned this um, a few seconds ago, so the longer I press the jump, the higher I go, and I can release it to stop jumping. Control fall lets the player control his fall while jumping straight, i.e. no x velocity. So basically, when I'm jumping and moving forward, it, if I stop moving forward, I kind of keep the velocity, right? But if I jump straight and then I start moving, I can release to keep falling downwards uh, straight. So that way you can more control your fall. Vault creates a subtle launch when the character wa walks off a ledge. Give it a try. Okay, so basically when you walk off a ledge, he does this kind of little vault thing, which is basically a small subtle launch. Dash has been activated. You can use it on the ground or in the air. Give it a try. Alright, now something that isn't mentioned and that I'm going to say is that if you release the dash before it is actually finished, you can cancel the dash and um, end it before its um, set duration. 
You can easily change a dash strength in the editor or during gameplay. No dash is found in the crouch dash top options. Kind of a weird name, but there were so many mechanics inside that I, I had to spe specify all of the mechanics within. Um, anyway, so we change it to 1500, which is pretty small. Um, maybe this could be used as a kind of charge attack, I guess, I'm not sure. But you can do it. Now back to normal. Or you could have a super long dash, which um, could be used in combination with maybe setting the gravity to zero, so you would indefinitely dash uh, really quickly, kind of a super charge attack uh, movement, I mean. Okay, so back to normal. Continue. Um, okay, wall slide is now active. You can find wall slide under wall interaction options. Note surface must have component tag wall. Alright, so now we can wall slide. Really cool stuff. And as mentioned, it only works if um, the surface or the component that you're sliding on has a wall tag or has a, ta a tag named wall. For, for instance, if uh, the surface I was sliding on didn't have this wall tag, I would just not be able to wall slide on it. Okay, next. You can change the wall slide speed. Yay! So at 5, you barely go down. Alright, and then 1000 goes much faster. So you can play around with that. Uh, you can change the launch velocity of the wall slide. So you can play with these numbers. Here I just use some arbitrary numbers uh, to demonstrate so it's kinda this one is pretty pretty strong on the X uh, if you wanna have that and this is the normal one currently used 700 on the X and 2500 on the Z um, 700 on the X 5000 on the Z so you jump really high uh, from the wall slide the max jump hold time for wall slide can be added to or subtracted to by adjusting the wall slide extra jump time option. So basically the jump time can be changed when you're jumping as I am right now. Um, as it stands currently it's set to minus 0 0.2 so it's actually a bit of a shorter max jump hold time than when you're normally jumping. So this is used to uh, decide whether you can basically jump a bit longer or shorter from wall sliding. Alright, let's continue. Okay, the rate of fire. Let's change the default rate of fire found in the shoot options. So, 0 0.01. Now we're going to shoot really fast. Uh, 0.35 is the default one used. And now point, uh, 0 0.8 is kind of slow. Okay, charge shot now active. Currently, you can iterate between charge level 2 and 3, one being the default. Uh, so right now we have charge level 3 activated, so this means we have a charge of level 2, which is the green one, uh, like this. But if we charge, if we hold the shoot button for longer, we have a level 3 charge which is blue. Um, we can change it to only have 2 so here no matter how long I hold the charge button or actually the shoot button it's always gonna use charge level 2 which is the green one. Okay. The charge time can be adjusted through the max charge time option. Currently level 3 equal max charge time level 2 equals half max charge time. So you can change how long it takes to charge uh, the charge shot. So currently it's set to, I think, 0 0.05. Um, so what this means, if it's set to level 3 charge time, it's going to take 0 0.05 seconds of holding the shoot button to achieve a level 3 max charge, or a level 3 charge shot. The level 2 charge shot is determined by uh, dividing the max charge time by 2. So if it's set to 0 0.05 then the level 2 charge time would happen at 0.25 uh, seconds. Okay. 
This concludes tutorial 1. You can proceed to demo level 1. Once you complete this level, you will be able to enter tutorial 2. Now, no, none of this is in place yet. This is what I will uh, work on next. And actually, once demo level 1 is finished, I will package tutorial 1 and demo level 1 so that you guys can try it out and let me know how it feels and what you like and what you don't like. Um, beyond that, I will create a tutorial 2 and demo level 2 for the next character, which will have more advanced mechanics and uh, kind of the same uh, flow for the tutorial. Okay, thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next videos and the upcoming demo. Okay, take care.